Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's Vanessa here. Today's video is going to be just a get glam video. Out here in Houston, it's raining outside. It's actually kind of cold. So I just decided to do a lot of glam inside. I don't know. And I wanted to do something that I haven't done on my channel before, which is create a green semi cut crease. So if you're interested in seeing me get glam and give you guys this green smoky realness, thumbs up this video if you haven't already and talk to me in the comments. So first I'm going to start with the Morphe Brow Pencil in the shade Java. And I'm going to use this to just kind of give my brows a really strong tail. And I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to go ahead and carve out the brows as best as I can. I like to do this first because it really just gives your eyes the shape that you need to guide you while you're doing your eyeshadow. I'm then going to prep the eyes with the same concealer and I'm going to use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to start with the shade Jada. Jada is a teal shade. It's a very beautiful shade by the way and that's why I wanted to start here. going back and forth to just create a wash of color on the lids I really wanted the blue to stand out so I'm just taking Jada from my brow bone all the way into my crease and blowing it out so you can really really see it and then I'm taking the shade enchanted which is this smoky green shade and I'm using this to cover my entire crease I'm using this to really deepen up the eye look just to make it look more dramatic and dreamy So I'm taking the same shade in Chanted. I'm going back in with the shade Jada just to make sure the edges are nice and blended so that the transition looks really smooth. I'm then taking my Tarte Shape Tape to cut a semi-crease on the lid, which you guys have seen me do a whole bunch of times. I'm then going in with the shade Enchanted again, and I'm using Enchanted just to close out the eye look so that the half cut crease stays and you can really see. And what I'm doing right here is just really smoking out the edge with this smudging brush. This just really makes sure the eyeshadow is nice and seamless and it all blends together well. I wanted to give my eyes like a really cat eye effect, but it changes later, so don't worry about that. And I'm using that same brush that I used in the crease to kind of blend those two colors together. Then I'm taking the shade Diva, which is this, it's like a, a deeper green shimmer shade that I'm placing on the outer corner of the eyes and I'm using that to blend in this other shade called pool party pool party is the inspiration for the look really I looked at this shade in the palette and I was like yes I'm gonna use this and this is what it really came out as and I really really think it's really beautiful and then I'm going in with a dark shade in the palette and this shade is called abyss abyss is like a, a smoky charcoal black that is great for any eye look just to add drama to it and then I'm taking my essence super precise eyeliner which is amazing you guys check it out and some beauty supply lashes just to finish off the look these are majestic minks which I will leave in the description box below I'm then going ahead and priming the skin. I'm using my e.l.f. Putty Primer and I'm using this on top of the face as well as my Fenty Beauty Cashew Powder. All right, now that the eyeshadow is out the way, I just had to focus on that real quick, guys. That's why it was a voiceover. I did go ahead and prime the skin as well as set the skin with a little bit of translucent powder from Fenty Beauty. And this is another one that I mentioned in my favorites, and this is in the shade Cashew. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in 430W. All right, and I'm just taking this Instapop brush by Real Techniques. So I'm just blending myself out. I'm gonna use this Born This Way concealer in the shade Butterscotch on the nose area. 
It's not that bright, but that's okay because I do use another concealer. To... Now I'll take some of the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Tan, and this just really gives you that color. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and wet my sponge. I actually kind of let this just sit on the skin for a little bit. So I have to blend this out and I have to hurry up because my brother is coming and I have to take him to wherever he needs to go really fast. Now, let's go ahead and blend out using some translucent powder. This one is in the shade medium deep mixed with a little bit of the honey, right? So it's going to give you that look you're looking for. And I'm making sure to get right up under that eye because I'm about to apply some more eyeshadow on the bottom and I don't want it to mess up what I've created. So I'm kind of packing it on. All right, I just bought a new brush, which is such a good brush, by the way. This is the Morphe M431 brush. That same shade that I used here, which was that lighter blue shade, I'm going to also place that on the lower lash line as well. Very gently. I'm not going to take it all the way in, just to about the front. See how it's like a really soft blue? And you want to be really soft. You never want to go too hard on the eyes, you know? And then the dark shade that I did use on the outer corner, I'm going to go back in with that as well. And I'm going to also go along the lash line to just smoke it out. See that? Oh, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. I just love when looks actually come out the way they're supposed to when I'm trying to work with color. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm put a little bit more lightness because I... Feel like I kind of lost it now I just have to dust all this powder off of my face I'm gonna go in with this powder and this is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless face powder in the shade 3 and it is a very heavy powder so you only want to use this on full coverage days or if you like to use powders and you have oily skin would definitely recommend this and lately, I've been using the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette to bronze my face up a bit. And I've also been using this new brush. This is a Morphe M581 brush. Really nice dome brush. It, it, it just adds bronze really pretty without kind of putting it all over the face. And that's one thing that I was doing. You know what I mean? I'm just taking this around the face. Do I need blush? Because when you have a look like this, sometimes I just feel like blush is unnecessary. Blush. This is by MAC. This is the Burnt Pepper Blush. Oldie but goodie, right? It's a matte blush. We'll just add that on top. I'm going to take my Morphe Setting Mist. I just love the way this dries, especially if you have drier skin. I'm adding my everyday lip liner, and this is the Ruby Kisses Roasted Coffee Lip Liner. Get this at your local beauty supply by the counter. I just love this. And this is the e.l.f. concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon. I like to use this sometimes as like a color. I like to have like the illusion of fuller lips. I'm going to take the Stylish Glam Gloss in the shade Yummy. I've been loving this color lately. Like I just don't know. It's just been <laughs> super pretty. And yeah, so shout out to Stylish Glam for always keeping me cute in my videos. I appreciate it. And if you are a brand out there and if you would like to, you can send me some stuff. Like I don't mind using products on my channel from black owned brands. That's just me. I'm a black owned, you know business and brand myself. I love to try new stuff. All 
all right you guys this pretty much wraps up the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if it wasn't the eyeshadow that you learned something from i hope it was the complexion and the products used to really get yourself looking glamorous like me okay you guys ever do your makeup or do your hair or put together your outfit and you're like wow you did that okay so yeah i'm feeling like those moments i'm ready to go take some pictures for the gram y'all that's how cute this is let me shoot up some pictures and i'll see you guys in my next one Wow.